This is Coogan Cassius here at Bolton Arena with me. I've got the new British super middleweight champion, Paul Smith. What a cracking yeah. fight, first of all, with young Tony yeah, Hudson. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was a good fight. You know, I said all along it'd be a better fight than last time. Um, you know, I've improved a lot since I boxed him last. Didn't know what to do inside when I boxed him the first time. And you know, I left Billy Graham being one of the most exciting prospects in the country, banging away to the body, great work inside. I went to a trainer that didn't really bring that out in me. You know, I panicked a lot. I wasn't really getting the best out of myself when I was fighting. And I'd get inside and I'd panic and I'd want it all. You know, you saw it inside there. Every time I get inside, I'd be the one pulling away, trying to bang away inside and work. And, I've come on a bomb since I joined Joe Gallagher. I just haven't really had the chance to prove it, to showcase it, because I've had a few first round wins and I had obviously the second round win to, uh, lost to George. Trading some ferocious shots, you and Tony. Yeah. Was you hurt in the fight at all? No, any point? Listen, I'm a tough kid. He caught me one good shot, I felt it, you know what I mean? But I said it's hard to say I've got a good chin after what happened with Groves, but I know I've got a perfect chin. He could throw that shot hundred times, it cast me once, you know, it's one of them shots. I got clocked, perfect shot. Full credit to George, he finished me off, he's done a good job. But I've got a great chin. I've always had a good chin. You know, I've been it, I've been it well hard and inspiring since I was at hard inspiring before. I went to Wildcard in, in July, August with the lads at the gym. No secret about that. Caught him, you know, sparring a kid, chocolate, getting caught by him and standing and still, still standing up great. But yeah, you're a tough bastard, mate. You're a tough bastard, honestly. You're a tough bastard, so. Yeah, mate. All, all, all this shit we've got, I knew it was. Oh, so I know, you know what it's not me if you're tweeting all that stuff, it's me there. I know it is, <laughs> I fucking knew it was, I was going to wind you up over it. No, I know it is, I know it is. I know it is, I know it is. Well, you fucking, you know what, I didn't expect you to to carry on with All the bullshit I was saying before, mate, about improving, I have improved, mate. I didn't expect you to come out like a bull, but I didn't expect you to box on a box. One thing I always said, one thing I always said about him as an amateur was his boxing ability, won him everything. As a fighter, he started turning pro and knocking people over and stopped it's coming back since he started exactly. joining John, it's I mean? coming back again. That's what the sign of a good trainer, the, the exactly. whatever the same fighters are good at, he works on fighters. He's just talking again, man. You know, we respect you, Tony. Well done. Well done, Tony. Thank you. That's it for you now, Lola. Thank you. I'll let you and him fucking carry on. See you later. Have a nice, nice time. Bring me down the pub soon with a pint. Come down. All right. See you later. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. See you soon. Take care, lads. All right. Um, just to finish off, is just sending a message out to anyone that's written you off in this fight, Paul. I've seen a lot of people on the internet. You know, loads of people and fair dues. A lot of them are Tony's mates. This is a 50-50 fight. You know, I'm seven to one off in the bookies, and I felt I deserved to be seven to one. On it wasn't a 50-50 fight to me. I knew what I had. I knew what I've had left. I haven't. I'm not shot one. I lost to George Groves in, in a two-round loss with a shot that I got Jimmy George again. I off to him, finished me off. But I didn't answer anything. I didn't. I didn't give anything that I had because I didn't get a chance to. I've got plenty left. This British title winning outright, and then look, look at the two kids for the European title. You know, James and George both pulled out rather than fighting because they beat him comfortably. I know I beat the kid who, who was fighting, and the other kid's not too special as well. He's a good kid, but Sachi Obika's WBC champion. Robert Stegers is WBO champion. I put James again, and George goes in with any one of them, and I want to fight James or George again. You know, that, that's the plan, and that's what I want to do. The divisions wide open again. It's not frost sitting at the top and. I'm not calling Carl Frotch out, I'm not calling Anze Ward out. The kids that I'm calling out are not unbeatable kids. Yeah. Francis, just bring you in. When do we expect to see Paul out again for his uh, first defence in the British style? Um, so it's possible. Um, you know, we should have a date over here next week. But um, you know, those are the fights that we'll be chasing. Um, you know, the Gale fight to me is a, is a great fight for, to, to make for Paul. Um, I know it's, it's, it's you know something that bugs him massively. Is that a way at me you since know, he, 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 fight wants, he wants to you know wants to put that one right. Um, it was stopped too early in my opinion as well. Um, you know, the first time round, and you can see in Paul's face when he got stopped. It's just like what you know, what's going on here? So that's you know that's the fight we'll be chasing. All right. Well, listen, Paul. Congratulations. It's a cracking fight from uh, just Thank a fan point of what you do to watch. Thank you. And uh, listen, you won on the night. Thank you. All credit to all the support as well, as well to all my fans. Listen, I've had a lot of it. I've seen little bits on Twitter the last few days about people in Liverpool. People in Liverpool love me. All Tom Stalker's fans go to a fight to support me. All the other lads out of all around Liverpool go to fight to support me. I've fought two scousers. I don't have Tony Quigley fans. I don't have. Tony Dodson fans. That's how it goes. There's a few people from from Graf, uh, Garston who don't really like me. There's a few people from Kirby who don't really like me. But I'll tell you what, there's a lot more in Kirby and a lot more in Garston and a lot more around Liverpool that support me. I've got a massive fan base in Liverpool, and I want to thank every one of them. You've got a couple of fans in Essex as well. I've got plenty of fans. I've got plenty of fans <laughs> out of the country. And listen, I'm very, That's very great. We've got something half as well. <laughs> I've got, listen, I've got plenty of fans around the country and I'm very, very appreciative of it. I'm very grateful for it. I'm not big-headed about it. I love it and I'm lucky to have them. 
All right, listen. And just uh, Paul, Paul's next fight's all be live on Box Nation, by the way. So uh, just get get back over to uh, to four three seven. He was only on loan tonight, was he? Yeah, he was on on loan. All right, listen. Thank Short you very much. Cheers, Google. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.